after looking over several groups of black wildebeest, we finally located the big bull from the night before. We quickly made a game plan to close the distance. The rest of the evening was spent chasing fallow deer around with Brian. Despite a few misses, he was able to seal the deal at last light. Hi. All the way to the right. So on. What did you hit? Our last morning of hunting found us looking for one horn kudu we called the unicorn bull for Jacqueline. We were able to locate him, but unfortunately he was in a tough place to get on, so we loaded up and drove about an hour to the Cowie camp where we would be hunting warthogs for Jacqueline and Brian. When we got to the Cowie area, we made our way up to a high vantage point and began to see warthogs right away. After looking over several bunches of warthogs, we located a big boar and began to work our way into position. Unfortunately, by the time we got over there, the big boar had given us the slip, so we headed back up to our vantage point. We looked over several more groups of warthogs when this big boar stepped out of a thicket only 300 yards below us. We quickly cut another 100 yards and Jacqueline got set up for the shot.
Let's kill the big hog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is. Wait, yeah. A wee ma what? That a girl. With Jacqueline's big warthog loaded up and Brian also having killed a big warthog earlier that morning, we hustled back so that we could hunt the unicorn bull the last hour of light. Once again, we located him, but unfortunately had no way to get on him before nightfall. As the sun set on our last day of hunting, I once again felt an overwhelming feeling of gratitude for all that we had experienced the past 10 days. As always, I am beyond grateful for the memories made that will last a lifetime and for the incredible animals that we are so fortunate to be able to hunt and harvest. As I laid in bed that night, my mind already began to wander off and dream of my return to this incredible hunting destination.